a look at America's top 10 presidents. Welcome, history buffs and future leaders. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey to meet the titans who shaped America, the 10 presidents who left an indelible mark on our nation's story. Ranking these giants is no easy feat, as it involves understanding their leadership, impact, vision, legacy, and the unique context of their times. But fret not, for we'll delve into the facts and achievements that earned them their place in this prestigious pantheon. So, buckle up as we explore the lives and legacies of these extraordinary individuals. In this video, we are using these 10 criteria political persuasion, crisis leadership, economic management, moral authority, international relations, administrative skills, congressional relations, ability to set an agenda, the pursuit of equal justice for all, and overall performance within the context of the times. If you have other criteria, let's know in the comment below. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, I will advise you to stop now and subscribe first and come back and continue with the video. More exciting, interesting, and of course controversial videos are coming. Let's dive into the video. Number 10. Barack Obama, 44th US President, 2009 to 2017. Political persuasion. Democrat, championed progressive policies. Crisis leadership, navigated the Great Recession and passed health care reform. Economic management, implemented stimulus measures and financial sector reforms. Moral authority, advocated for unity, hope and inclusivity. International relations, emphasized diplomacy and a multilateral approach. Administrative skills, passed major health care reform and economic stimulus packages. Congressional relations, faced challenges but passed significant legislation. Agenda setting, prioritized health care reform, climate change and economic recovery. Equal justice, advocated for civil rights and LGBTQ plus rights. Repealed, don't ask, don't tell. Overall performance, addressed economic challenges and pursued a progressive agenda. Number 9. Ronald Reagan, 40th U.S. President, 1981 to 1989. Political persuasion, a Republican, he advocated for conservative principles. Crisis leadership, he navigated economic challenges and the end of the Cold War. Economic management, he implemented supply-side economics, tax cuts, and deregulation. Moral authority, he emphasized traditional values and anti-communism. International relations. Engaged in diplomatic efforts that contributed to the end of the Cold War. Administrative skills. Oversaw economic policies that led to significant growth. Congressional relations. Faced challenges, but effectively communicated his agenda. Agenda setting. He focused on economic revitalization, anti-communism, and limited government. Equal justice, he nominated the first female Supreme Court justice, but faced criticism on civil rights. Overall performance, he shaped conservative policies and played a role in ending the Cold War. Number 8. John F. Kennedy, 35th U.S. President, 1961 to 1963. Political persuasion, a Democrat, he represented a new generation of leadership. Crisis leadership. He confronted the Cuban Missile Crisis and stood for civil rights. Economic management, he advocated for tax cuts to stimulate economic growth. Moral authority, a charismatic leader, championed civil rights and the space race. International relations, he focused on the Cold War and space exploration. Administrative skills, he launched the Peace Corps and supported advancements in space exploration. Congressional relations. Faced challenges, but achieved legislative successes. Agenda setting. He prioritized civil rights, space exploration, and economic growth. 
equal justice. He also advocated for civil rights, though progress was incremental. Overall performance, he's a charismatic leader during a pivotal period in the Cold War and civil rights. Number 7. Thomas Jefferson, 3rd U.S. President, 1801-1809. Political persuasion, a democratic republican. He advocated for limited government. Crisis leadership, he oversaw the Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Economic management, he emphasized agrarian interests, reduced the national debt. Moral authority, he promoted the idea of individual rights and liberty. International relations, he embarked on the Louisiana Purchase, doubling U.S. territory. Administrative skills, he encouraged westward expansion and exploration. Congressional relations, he faced political challenges but achieved major territorial expansion. Agenda setting, he prioritized westward expansion, limited government, and agrarian ideals. Equal justice, he advocated for individual liberties but faced criticism for slaveholding. Overall performance, he expanded the nation's territory and influence during his presidency. Number 6. Harry S. Truman, 33rd U.S. President, 1945-1953. Political persuasion, a Democrat, he implemented New Deal policies post-World War II. Crisis leadership, he made tough decisions, including the use of atomic bombs in World War II. Economic management, he initiated post-war economic reforms and the Marshall Plan. Moral authority, he grappled with moral decisions during World War II. He supported civil rights, international relations. He oversaw the start of the Cold War and the establishment of NATO. Administrative skills, he also implemented key post-war policies and reforms. Congressional relations. He faced challenges, but was effective in pushing key legislation. Agenda setting, he focused on post-war recovery, containment, and the Marshall Plan. Equal justice, he issued an executive order desegregating the military, a precursor to civil rights advancements. Overall performance, he navigated post-war challenges and set the stage for Cold War policies. Number 5. Dwight D. Eisenhower, 34th U.S. President, 1953 to 1961. Political persuasion, a Republican, moderate, maintained New Deal policies. Crisis leadership, he navigated the early Cold War tensions, including the Korean War, economic management. He came up with a balanced budget and emphasized fiscal responsibility. Moral authority, he emphasized ethics and leadership, warned of the military-industrial complex. International relations, he utilized diplomacy and containment during the Cold War. Administrative skills, he emphasized efficiency and modernized the military. Congressional relations, he maintained a cooperative relationship with Congress. Agenda setting, he focused on economic stability, containment, and military readiness. Equal justice, he addressed civil rights, but progress was limited during his tenure. Overall performance, he also provided stability during a complex period in international relations. Number 4. Theodore Roosevelt, 26th U.S. President, 1901-1909. Political persuasion, a Republican. Progressive policies within the party. Crisis leadership, he addressed labor strikes and established conservation policies. Economic management, he also advocated for progressive economic policies. Moral authority, he fought against corruption and advocated for social justice. International relations, he brokered peace, won Nobel Peace Prize, expanded U.S. influence. Administrative skills, he initiated trust-busting and regulatory reforms. Congressional relations, faced challenges within his own party but achieved key reforms. Agenda setting, he had a progressive agenda, including conservation and trust-busting. 
equal justice. He advocated for fairness and justice, but progress on civil rights was limited. Overall performance, he left a lasting impact with progressive policies and conservation efforts. Number 3. Franklin D. Roosevelt, 32nd U.S. President, 1933 to 1945. Political persuasion, a Democrat, New Deal architect, shifted the party's focus. Crisis leadership, he led the nation through the Great Depression and World War II. Economic management, he implemented the New Deal to address economic challenges. Moral authority, he was known for his fireside chats and reassuring leadership during tough times. International relations, he led the U.S. through World War II, forming alliances with key allies. Administrative skills, he created numerous New Deal agencies, expanding the role of the federal government. Congressional relations, he skillfully worked with Congress to pass key legislation. Agenda setting, prioritized economic recovery and later war efforts. Equal justice, focused on economic reforms, but challenges remained in civil rights. Overall performance, instrumental in shaping modern America, particularly in times of crisis. Number two, George Washington, first U.S. President, 1789 to 1797. Political persuasion, a Federalist, instrumental in the drafting of the Constitution. Crisis leadership, led the Continental Army to victory in the American Revolutionary War. Economic management, oversaw the establishment of economic policies and the first national bank. Moral authority, he set a precedent for the peaceful transfer of power and republican ideals. International relations, he focused on maintaining neutrality and avoiding entangling alliances. Administrative skills, he established the foundations of the federal government and the presidency. Congressional relations, he enjoyed broad support and respect, facilitating the early legislative process. Agenda setting, he emphasized the importance of a strong central government and national unity. Equal justice, he faced contradictions as a slaveholder, but took steps toward emancipation in his will. Overall performance, he was the pioneering figure in the founding of the United States. Number 1. Abraham Lincoln, 16th President, 1861 to 1865. Political persuasion, a Republican. He focused on preserving the Union and opposing the spread of slavery. Crisis leadership, he successfully led the nation through the Civil War, preserving the Union and ending slavery. Economic management. He implemented key economic policies to strengthen the economy during the war. Moral authority, he had strong moral stance against slavery, issued the Emancipation Proclamation. International relations, he managed delicate international relations during the Civil War, avoiding foreign intervention. Administrative skills, he effectively managed his cabinet and government operations during a challenging period. Congressional relations. Head demonstrated adeptness in building coalitions and garnering support for crucial legislation. Agenda setting. He focused on preserving the Union and ending slavery, with success in shaping public opinion. Equal justice. He was committed to ending slavery, though his views on racial equality evolved. Overall performance, he was widely regarded as one of the greatest presidents in U.S. history. Each of these presidents had a distinct impact on the United States, exhibiting varying strengths and weaknesses across the specified criteria, contributing to the rich tapestry of American history. So as we reflect on the legacies of these presidents, it becomes clear that the challenges they faced and the decisions they made reverberate through time. From the struggle for equal justice to navigating international crises, their stories form a mosaic of leadership that continues to shape the United States. 
The exploration of their successes and shortcomings offers valuable perspectives as we navigate our own era and confront new challenges on the horizon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to explore our other interesting videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated.